everybody, it's me, your old pal Dan Classic, and I'm back again with even more McDonald's McNonsense. And why not? I can't think of another restaurant more associated with toys than McDonald's. And the number one reason for that is the Happy Meal. In 1963, McDonald's got the bright idea to market to children. But it wouldn't be until over a decade later when Guatemalan McDonald's operator Yolanda Fernandez de Cofino thought to create a menu just for kids called Menu Ronald. Ad man Bob Bernstein took this idea a step further developing the Happy Meal, a packaged meal just for kids with a colorful breakfast cereal style box and like the cereals, the Happy Meal came with a toy. Burger Chef had been doing basically the same thing since 1973, but history is written by the winners, and even if you were to tell me that Burger Chef was the greatest restaurant on the planet Earth, I would then ask you why they went bust in 1996, and why the hell I've never heard of them. Anyway, initially the Happy Meal toys, or prizes, were kinda crap. You'd get a frisbee, or a ball, or some such shit. But eventually the concept would evolve and more sophisticated toys based on popular licenses were used. Over the years, due to cultural changes and a focus on providing more healthy options, McDonald's has attempted to grow out of its children's junk food restaurant image, but the Happy Meal remains a staple to this very day. Way back in 1987, another Ronald, Reagan, was finishing up his second term, Hulk Hogan would body slam Andre the Giant at WrestleMania 3, and McDonald's would release one of the greatest sets of Happy Meal toys ever, the Muppet Babies. The Muppet Babies, if you didn't know, was a Saturday morning cartoon show based on Jim Henson's Muppet characters, inspired by a scene from Muppets Take Manhattan in which the Muppets imagined what it would have been like to grow up together. It was pretty successful and would run for seven seasons, even getting a reboot in 2018 that no one seemed to care about. Anyway, in 1987, smack dab in the middle of Muppet Baby Mania, a McDonald's Happy Meal toy set was released, and from what I remember at the time as a little kid, it was a hot item. Four figures with vehicles were produced, as well as two static figures for kids under three. Gonzo on a big wheel, Fozzie on a rolling hobby horse, Miss Piggy in a car, and the coup de gras, Kermit on a skateboard. I remember everybody going wild for these, especially the Kermit, as skateboarding was super radical at the time. I guess it still is, right? Anyway, the board had a peg that would fit your 3 and 3 quarter inch G.I. Joes, so of course, this was a sought after item. And while researching for the video, I found out that way up in the great white north of Canada, they got a fifth Muppet. Can you believe that shit? Animal in a wagon. Anyway, I got all five of these, so let's take a look at the Muppet Babies Happy Meal toys from 1987. All right, so here we are. We've got the from actually 1986. If you uh, read the, the the little insert here, it says 1986 Jim Henson's Muppet Babies McDonald's Happy Meal. Uh, this toy has been safety tested for children at age three and up because there was also uh, the three and under uh, toys as well. But and, you know who gives a shit about those? These are the good ones. Um, you know what? I couldn't tell you if these were from 1986 or 1987. Who knows? But let's take a look at these figures. First off, we got Gonzo on the on the tricycle. We've got uh, we've got a uh, uh, Fozzie Bear on the hobby horse. We have Miss Piggy in a car, and we also have the coup de gras, Kermit on a skateboard. Kermit on a skateboard. One of the most awesome things ever to come out of McDonald's Happy Meals um, of all time, in my opinion. It's one of my most favorite things I had when I was a kid, and I am super glad to have them right now. These are considered vintage collectibles. People do keep these in the bag, obviously. I was able to score a complete set, all fresh in the bag, for a pretty good price. Um, but I'm gonna open them up, because that's what we do on this show, so let's take a look and see what Jim Henson's Muppet Babies look like on the inside of the package. All right. 
right, so here he is. It is Gonzo on the uh, the big wheel, on the green big wheel with the red wheels. Um, very very cool. These things have great great little detail they really roll they roll really good they're a lot of fun you can have them do wheelies and shit um the, the every single one of them comes with a vehicle very very cool little figures for happy meal toys you know a lot of times i use happy meal toys as something to describe something cheap he's like, he's a, like fucking a fucking happy, happy, happy meal, meal toy. toy um but you know what that's actually uh you know common misconception that i make because a lot of times the at least the old school happy meal toys were of very good quality and look at these these are high quality pvc figures you cannot break these things you cannot bend these things there you can bend them a little bit but you can't break them they're very very sturdy very awesome um i guess these parts are going to contain small parts you can if you broke it apart if you were strong enough to break it apart it could choke a small child maybe one of these little things could smoke uh, choke out a three-year-old if they stuck it in their mouth or something um, but otherwise very very cool looking figure very nice looking paint job on it very nice looking detail um the uh, variant gonzo um if you if you give a shit uh in in uh, the international markets has no shoes um this one is the american one has the shoes and has his awesome big wheel and that is gonzo waka fucking waka it is a fuzzy bear on a hobby horse, a rolling hobby horse, and not a rocking horse, um, or one of those little stick hobby horses, but a rolling hobby horse, because he is, they all came with a little vehicle, and uh, this one uh, stands all by himself very well as just little Fozzie Bear. These, these PV, PVC figures um, that we saw a lot of in the 1980s and uh, maybe 90s, you saw these too. Um, they were very popular. Lots of lots of different characters made in these, um, but sturdy and, and good to go. And if you notice, you could also put this guy on a vehicle or anything with a peg, because he's got a nice little peg hole in the foot too. But comes with the uh, with the hobby horse um, that he rides on and looks great and uh, again great sculpt great paint great everything on these very sturdy very awesome these things will last forever obviously these things are getting to be almost 40 years old um, well over 30 years old and they're still in great condition you know they've been kept in the package the whole time but I gotta, I gotta open them up I gotta open up my stuff and man these things look great. Let's move on to number three. Out of the way, motherfuckers. Here comes Miss Piggy in a little car. Miss Piggy is uh, is driving this uh, fancy um, looking uh, pink Rolls Royce style car. Um, very, very cool looking. Um, nice little paint job. Simple though. Not a ton of paint applications, but just enough. She's got the little bloomers on. She's got um, little gloves. Um, great paint job on the face we get the eyes and everything even the little shine on the eyes we've got the little hair hair in the bow very very nice looking little figure jam her right in there into that little car also the other the other figure that sits down gonzo can fit in the car you can swap them mix and match um they do the same pose and can fit in the same vehicle very very cool looking shit um you know there's a ton that you can say about these things doesn't like they're very articulated um you know the wheels are in it are technically an articulation but other than that they don't really pose or anything like that um but you can line them up and they do look cool on a desk or on a shelf and that's miss piggy and finally the main event it is kermit the frog uh, on a skateboard um just as i i've said the whole time this is one of my favorite things um from my childhood and i am so glad to have it back in my possession um, and here he is on a skateboard. Great looking pose, great looking paint job, great looking friendly expression on the face. And uh, most importantly, he's got a skateboard. And also Fozzie Bear can ride the skateboard. He's got a little peg hole on the foot. Again, very nice little PVC figures. Stand them up, 
Um, you can stand them up without their vehicles. It doesn't matter. They look nice just standing there and are in basically the same scale as the Smurfs or, or the little Garfield figures that you used to see back in the day. And every other single cartoon character that you can think of had little PVC figures throughout the 80s. And these are another example of that, except you didn't have to buy these at a store. They came free in the Happy Meal. And what a friggin' bargain, man. These awesome little toys that came in the, in the Happy Meal. Man, these things are fucking great. And that's Kermit the Frog on a skateboard. And meanwhile, way up north in Canada, um, we had a, uh, a, a variant collection of Muppet Babies. Um, not only did we have a gonzo, a shoeless gonzo, we had a whole other character, baby. We had Animal in a wagon. Um, not the coolest a vehicle to come with. I mean, it's it's cool. It rolls and stuff, but it's not like really a car, and you and you can't really imagine how he would convey himself on this thing. Um, you know, I now that I think of it, the fucking uh, the, the hobby horse is kind of weird too. Like, how is it fucking just rolling around on its own? But maybe you should just use your fucking imagination because it doesn't matter, really matter. Who gives a shit? Look at the fucking paint job on this thing. Look at the expression on his face. Sculptors nowadays. They can't even come close on stuff like this. Um, on this tiny little scale, with this many little paint applications on it, how nice does this look? How cool is this? This looks like something that you would buy in a store. Nowadays, they would charge you something like $10 for something like this. I'm not even fucking around. I'm, I'm sure I've seen shit like this that cost way too much money. But back in the day, this came in your Happy Meal. And, um, hey, don't be dirty. <laughs> don't be dirty. Hey, back in the day, these came with your food in the Happy Meal. And, uh, God damn it, what a great looking fucking figure. That's Animal on a Wagon. All right, so at the end of the day, this set from 1986 or 1987, or depending on where you lived in the world, um, who knows when these fucking things came out? Uh, maybe they came out even later. It doesn't really matter because at the end of the day, for the 1980s, the 1990s, or even right now, these are great little PVC figures, a great little value, a great little prize to come in the Happy Meal, and that's why I wanted to show them to you first. Um, what a really, really good Happy Meal prize looks like. Wow, this is this is gonna kick the dick in of anything that came in, in the cereal boxes back in the day, for me at least, um, and, and most of the stuff in the Happy Meals that you get nowadays, it's so cheap, they try to squeeze in these crappy action features, and they make it out of the cheap, hollow, throw it away plastic that nobody's gonna care about. The sculpts are bad, uh, the build is bad. These are solid figures, solid PVC figures with awesome little vehicles that really work, that really roll. It doesn't get much better than this when it comes to Happy Meal toys. And, and I'll say if, you know, if you're out, if you wanna go out and look for these out in the wild, you can actually get them for pretty cheap still. Um, you know, the, the, the people that are gonna go out and look for old Happy Meal toys, there's still, a, there's a market for it, but they're not gonna rake you over the coals hopefully and uh and so yeah if you want to get these they're actually very approachable very affordable and very collectible that is the muppet babies jim henson's muppet babies happy meal set from 1986. <laughs>